I thought I'd do a little tour of my Prospera Yelta. This is a wand made from the branch of an ash tree. I have an ash tree growing in my backyard, in fact I have two, um, which I have decorated with a variety of crystals used for prosperity. I don't know if it's going to focus on that. Sorry, but anyway, there it is. And I have, this is a prosperity candle that I created myself with some crystals and essential oils and what have you. I have my lucky cats. This one is a candle, which actually got too close to things and got melted on the side. This is a bone that I painted specifically for prosperity work. I have this little um, tray here. This is a, a tray that's actually got prosperity symbology on the bottom of it. You can see this is a working, working altar. Look at all the ash. Sorry about that. Um, so this is some prosperity incense. I have this crystal that I've made, which is uh, filled with green money rice. I make my own green money rice, and that's a little container of it. This has got some bay leaves in it. This is a teeny little spell jar I made. This is one of my prosperity resin crystals. I do sell some of these on Etsy. Um, you'll see a lot of them on this altar. I've made them in a variety of different shapes and molds and what have you. The pyrite, lucky money frog, prosperity spell jar, little prosperity talisman in there. This is my Rose of Jericho. This beautiful um, goblet chalice came from an Earthly Alchemy subscription box and in it I have a variety of things for prosperity and abundance. I have some cinnamon sticks, I have this branch that I collected that just felt right, pine cone. There's a couple of bones. I like to paint bones for specific purposes. This one for abundance. There's a small parrot feather in there. Little pine cone. This is a chicken's foot, again, that I've painted specifically to protect my money. This is my money bowl, which I tend to regularly by adding coins, crystals, herbs, little charms. Um, that's a prosperity crystal generator that I've made again with herbs and what have you. I have a bunch of, these are just commercial incense sticks that all have uh, either for abundance, prosperity, court money, etc. Another one of my, whoops, crystals. Another one of my crystals. Again, this is a money rice one. This is uh, little slips for petitions. And this is actually a little container I've made myself. Again, with money rice in it. Gold pen. I place my petitions into this I don't even know what you call this. This came in a subscription box from Users of Mystery. Have a little jade money tree, jade cat, some more crystals that I've made, and another little spell jar. This is a candle that I light regularly for prosperity. This is a candle holder that I found in an op shop. This is the little weaving that I did uh, at Beltane for prosperity for the coming year and then I have a card 
for Lakshmi and one for Fortuna. Another little charm and some more crystals I've made. This little candle holder, which is made with money rice. My Aladdin's lamp and crystals in this tray. Even some little, these are actually Gringotts coins. They're so cute. There's a galleon. And a piece of citrine, which is man-made citrine, but it's still citrine. This is a tiny little sort of pop-up um, altar. It's a bit difficult to show you on this video. I might show that separately. More of a crystals, little dish again, made with money rice inside it. Another lucky cat, another of my money crystals. This is a little spell box. This came from Juniper Moon Apothecary. I actually decorated it myself. It was a plain um, box, but inside uh, all the herbs that were provided to make this little spell jar. That just sits on there. And then this, this is my Rosmerta statue. She was made by an amazing artist from Melbourne. And around there is a little bit of um, I can't remember which crystal this is actually, but it's one associated with prosperity. And there you have it. That is my prosperity altar.